Good afternoon people, this is Mark from Carriage Change Works. Guys, I hope that you are well. This little video, I just want to talk to you about something that has kind of made me wonder and go, Oh, isn't that true? And it is the illusion that life is sunshine, champagne and roses when you do the right thing and sometimes the right thing to do is the hardest thing to do because it's so easy just to do the easy thing now why am I saying this and what does that got to do with mental health or mental fitness? Well, the thing here is I've come to realize that sometimes doing the right thing is always right. It doesn't necessarily mean it is morally right or it brings you the right kind of honor and respect. Because sometimes doing the right thing is because so many other people do it. And if so many people do it, how can it be the wrong thing to do? Now watch this video yesterday as I spent quite a lot of time on YouTube and I'm interested in all sorts of things. And this little picture that I noticed said right is right even if no one does it wrong remains wrong even if everybody does it so it made me think about why do we do certain things and how do we go about doing these things and what is it that we are trying to get from it? So doing the right thing, if it's done because everybody does it, my friend, maybe it's time to wake up and smell the coffee. Just because everybody does it makes you simply a follower, someone whose brain and decisions is in neutral when you're doing the right thing the wrong way or for the wrong reason there's a high chance that you're gonna get the wrong result so that's interesting if you do the wrong thing with the right uh, attitude and intention in the right way chances are you'll get recognition now that's interesting now I can do the right thing the right way with the wrong intention might not mean I'll get respect or recognition or honor because it's the heart is all wrong. So the challenge here really is, how do we go about doing the right thing, the right way, with the right intention in order to get to the right result or the right outcome? My advice at this point in time, as far as my experience is, as little as it might be, is consider why you are doing it what is your true motives that congruent inner self reasons is it for yourself or is it to help others is it to promote is it to destroy is it to construct or whatever the case might be as soon as you figure out truthfully what the true genuine motives are then it's just simply a matter of working out how you're going to go about it and my 
advice for what it is worth it is do things with a pure heart with a pure reason that is kind to people kind to the world kind to animals and so on and the motive is to be kind that way chances are you're gonna go out and get the right result sure you will get some slack from other people and people will give you a hard time because they are simply the followers in the life where they just do things because everybody else is doing it so when you do things with the intent of being helpful and useful and helping others sometimes you've got to do the difficult thing the hard thing but that is the thing that will bring you the greatest honor the greatest respect because to make those decisions oftentimes is very very tough because you've got to break away from the status quo so to speak so what does this got to do with sunshine roses and champagne simply this guys when we abuse who we are and we abuse our positions and we abuse our status etc it is very easy to just go out willy-nilly and do things just because we can or just because we want to irrespective of the long-term consequences on ourselves or others what does that got to do with roses simply this you see roses are the notoriously favorite flower for women because of its nice scents and its nice look and the colors are usually very vibrant and rich now when you start abusing your ability as a person it, you might as well take that rose and just grab onto it you see roses also have thorns on their stems and that is symbolic of when we just go out and do our thing to get to the top get to that rose we will get hurt one way or the other so what does that got to do with sunshine simply this guys sunshine is the the source of energy it is the source of life in many ways but when we abuse the Sun by neglecting to recognize its power and you stay in the Sun for longer than what you should in the summertime or not wearing some kind of protection for your skin you will get a sunburn because that is what happens okay what's that got to do with champagne champagne nearly looks like water and it's very easy to confuse the two unless you know what you are looking for so this is my advice for this little video and I'm gonna end with this when you do things when you say things are you grabbing at that rose are you staying in that sunshine for too long are you confusing the champagne for water or for temporary gain my advice is to think long term remember that it's easy to abuse our positions it is easy to do things the wrong way because everybody else does take someone with real guts and real strength of character and real steely determination to do something different from the norm you who do that my friend you are classified and will be recognized as a leader that is it for this little video be a leader respect who you are respect where you are respect what you're doing in terms of how that affects others around about you and of course the world that we are living in if you pay attention to a lot of things in the world especially nowadays there's a lot of people who have
power status and authority and how easy it is to fall into that temptation to mislead and cause a lot of frantic panic anarchy in the world even today because they're the ones who grab the rose or are forcing other people to grab that rose or stay in the sunshine metaphorically speaking for too long just simply be aware why we do things the way we do it and for the reasons we want to do it for okay my friend that is it this is mark from Carus change works if you've liked this particular video if it's challenged you caused you to think a little bit that would be fantastic to know in the comments below when you put your comments in there and of course subscribe share and if you haven't done so before hit the notification bell i would like to hear your story but for now guys my friends keep safe keep well i'll speak to you soon